My name is Ademir Vieira. I am 75 years old, married and retired. I had always been a very suspicious person. I did not trust anyone. I suffered so much. If there is something that I did not expect to happen in my life, it was to come to the Universal Church one day. I had a lot of prejudice against the Church, especially against Bishop Macedo. I had always heard things about the Church, through the media, newspapers, TV. So I never imagined that I would come to the Church like I did. I have a very painful childhood coming from a very poor and humble family. I suffered so much at the hands of my father, and so did my mother. I grew up with a lot of revolt inside, so I didn't accept for anyone to fool me. I went to other denominations, and also to some bad places, where I shouldn't have gone, and where I only found more trouble for myself. Until one day, a doctor gave me a referral to be admitted to a psychiatric hospital. I took prescription drugs for 40 years. As I suffered from severe depression, I thought about ending my life several times. I didn't feel like living anymore. I shut myself inside my bedroom for six, seven days in a row. I cried non-stop and didn't feel like eating. When the doctor told me, there is no longer a laboratory for you, so I will send you to a psychiatric hospital, I understood that I had no place to run to, because I'd gone to many places and had not found a solution for my problem. That was how I arrived at the Universal Church. After having tea, I usually say that I drank tea in other denominations. But what I needed was a strong medicine. And I only found this strong medicine at the Universal Church. My wife had already been attending the Universal Church for more than 30 years. I don't know why, but something told me that I could not forbid her. Something told me to forbid her from coming to the Universal Church. It's thanks to her that I am here today. First, God. Second, my wife. And third, the Universal Church. Like I said, when the doctor gave me a referral to admit me to a psychiatric hospital, I said to my wife, now I will go to your hospital. Because while she was attending the Universal Church, I was going to other denominations, but not to the Universal Church. I couldn't accept it. I would tell her, I will never put my foot inside your church. They brainwashed you. Don't you see it? Bishop Macedo is a thief. He has always robbed you. He takes money from the poor. Do you remember what they said about that event at Maracana Stadium? that he left with bags of money. Not him, but his people left with bags full of money, you know? So I didn't accept it at all. When Bishop Macedo was arrested, it was a celebration for me. It was joy, you know? So I didn't accept it. Until I hit my rock bottom. Then I told my wife, now I will go to your hospital. When I came to the Universal Church, I was destroyed. In order to come, my wife dragged me through the streets, because I didn't want to come. I came and was very welcomed, and they accepted me very well. I began to understand, and with time when I began to understand and see God acting in my life, I started sleeping a little better. I stopped depending on the controlled medication. So I saw that God was working in my life. I no longer had much suffering and started to sleep better. It took me a long time to get where I am, because I was banging my head around. When I came and started seeing the transformation in my life, and so did my family, then I thought, now I'm in the right place. I will never leave this place. When I left the other denominations, the tea I took worked like a painkiller. I had a little relief, but when I laid down my head on the pillow, I would start crying, so I could see that it was not the place for me. However, nothing like that happened to me at the Universal Church. As I saw my life being transformed, I started to change and I felt that I was another person and that God was working for me. But there was a difference. As I was tired of suffering, I came to win. I didn't come to only warm a bench. I came for all or nothing. Do you understand? I suffered, but God had mercy on me. The day I had an encounter with God, it was at dawn. I got up, went to another room, then I bent my knees and I spoke to the Lord Jesus Christ and I asked Him, 
As he had mercy on Peter, who was drowning, that he had mercy on me. At that time, I felt a calling. I felt peace. I felt joy in my life. It was indescribable, indescribable. It was very good. God had mercy on me. God did. After that day, I started seeing things in a different way. I started seeing my fellow man with more love. I started suffering when I saw someone suffering, crying when I saw someone crying. I started doing what I could, and even what I could not, for my fellow man. Today, thank God, I am a completely different man. Totally different. Today, I love my family. Today, I see everything I did wrong. I regret everything. And I ask God to forgive me, because we only live one life. I live my life. I am already 75 years old. So I won't have another opportunity. I've lost so much time. I've lost so much time. Today, I can see the time I lost. Today, I see. The Holy Spirit is my everything. He is my everything. There is no way to describe the joy that I have to have this God in my life. There is no way to describe it. I no longer take medication. Today, it's the opposite. I have to set my clock to wake up, otherwise I miss the time. I no longer depend on pills to sleep, no prescription drugs. My life today is totally different. Today, for the glory of God, I live in heaven in relation to my life with God. The last time I went to the psychiatrist, it was a woman. I said to her, Doctor, this is the last time you will see me here. You won't see me here anymore. And that's how it was. From that day on, I never went back to see the psychiatrist, never took any prescription drug. Today, thank God, I am happy with Jesus. Today, for the mercy of God, I am an assistant at the Universal Church. And if there is one thing that makes me happy, it's to be able to extend my hand to anyone, like someone did for me when I first came. I am part of the patient care group, and what I can do for my fellow man, I don't deny, but I do it. I feel the prejudice other people have. Sometimes, when I go to do a work, and I introduce myself, I say my name, and that I'm there to do a religious visit for them, a prayer. They ask, what church do you belong to? I say, universal. They say, I don't accept, I don't want. So, there are a lot of misconceptions. The same prejudice I had, other people still have nowadays. They have it. We went to do a work in a community, and when we were leaving, with the uniform from the patient care group, someone asked, what kind of uniform is this? I said, we are from the patient care group, from the Universal Church. He said something and then added, where you pay a toll to Bishop Macedo. So, we hear a lot of prejudice and things that are lies. They are not true. These are fake news. I owe my life first to God, second to my wife, and third to the Universal Church. I, who had always hated Bishop Macedo, today I pray for him. I pray with tears in my eyes, with joy of gratitude because it was through him that I'm where I am. You know, God had mercy on me. I don't only pray for him, but for his family, with much joy in my heart. If he sees this testimony, I would like to ask for his forgiveness. Ask for his forgiveness for all that I thought, for all that I said about him. I take back everything I said. And if other people watch this testimony and thought the same way I did, I say to you, forget it, because you are wrong as I was wrong. You can trust what I'm saying now.